Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of the new save file. We are jumping in again and we are gonna go... I may actually do Tainted Isaac, you know. Um, who else could we go as? We're very nearly done with Kane. Uh, we did... I think we did Tainted Blue Baby recently. Um, did we get far with him? I can't remember. Um, let's try and do Tainted Lost for a run. I know we try this guy every now and again and he is very difficult. But he is one of my favourite characters to play. Um, and I think, I don't know, you guys seem to enjoy this character. It's weird, like, I think the normally Tainted Lost runs seem to get less views, but the people that do enjoy the Tainted Lost runs seem to enjoy them a lot. So, I don't, I think people maybe don't like watching Tainted Lost runs as much because there's, a, there's potentially a lot of resetting, um, which obviously can be not as enjoyable because you don't get to see, like, crazy synergies and stuff. Uh, but I don't know, ooh, could we, could we, could we? Yes! Okay, didn't unfortunately actually yield us anything, but I was trying my hardest to actually blow some of that up to see if we could get anything from it. Um, so yeah, I kind of get, like, on the on both ends why people do and don't like him. For me, I just, I, I really like risk-reward, and I feel like this character is sort of the perfect embodiment of that. Free devil deals, but, like, really low HP, but really high starting stats, better items. It just, it all sort of loops in to create a pretty fun experience, and I think, like... Basically, if I was to play Isaac casually and not just for YouTube, I think I'd play this guy more than most characters. I think the 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 wins feel very rewarding. And the only problem is, obviously, there is potentially um, some BS deaths. But there is mods out there that fix that. I've not got any of those on at the moment. But, like, there is things out there to fix BS deaths and stuff. So it doesn't... It's not as bad. But I, I just really enjoy the risk reward of this guy, and I think he's a lot of fun. He al also, as well, I think I've been playing, obviously, the streak recently, and I feel like I've been playing pretty good on the streak, so I want to try my best. Uh, Males of Carry 2 Trinkets isn't exactly revolutionary, but it's it's not a bad item. Um, it means that we can hold something alongside perfection should we make it that far, which is kind of nice. And honestly, Burnt Penny is not a bad one to pick up to begin with. Uh, being able to gain a few extra bombs here and there is going to be kind of nice. Oh, there's a fire in this room. That's kind of odd. I wonder why that is. I mean, it's nice to see him just kind of walk into that every now and again. I'm just going to leave it there. I don't... It's... The weird thing is, this isn't a modded uh, boss fight. This is a regular room, which makes it so much stranger. Like, if this was a modded one, I'd kind of be like, okay, some modders do some weird stuff. It happens. But this is actually just a vanilla room with a random fire in it. I guess the idea is try and coax them into the fire like we just did there, but it's not super viable with this boss specifically, so I don't know. Anyways, I am on a, a bit of a recording spree at the minute doing multiple episodes today, which makes questions of the day much, much harder, I think. Um, I'll try and think up a good one, though. Hmm. What's your most anticipated game at the moment? I think I have asked that before, but it's been a while since I have very good items to grab there. It's been a while since I have... Uh, we're going to be going Dark Path and Mega Satan here, so remember not, not to go Devil Deal, even if they're free. Dark Path and Mega Satan is the way we're going. Um, yeah, like, what's what's something that you're really looking forward to? I think for me, it's still just Silk Song. Silk Song is still just, like, I, I, I loved Hollow Knight, sort of, more than I ever thought I could love a game. Um, especially considering it was one of my first YouTube series that wasn't a rogue. Like, I really, really enjoyed it as a as a whole. I'll take that as well for even more damage. Unfortunately, this is probably goodbye to our um, holy mantle. Yep. Probably goodbye to our life, actually, thinking about it. This boss is just unfortunately, like, the absolute worst thing to ever exist and is just ridiculous. So, unfortunately, we have put this run in jeopardy. Especially, oh, we're dead. That's really unfortunate. But this guy is some, some fat BS. Yeah, there you go. That was fun. <laughs> that was unfortunate. We've got two damage up items there. But I bought item remote. It wasn't anything special, so I don't mind too much. Um, but yeah, oh, God. That was, like, probably the two worst bosses you could possibly get back to back. I, like... The, the developers of the um, the Changed Furs and Bosses mod have been doing a bang-up job. Really good stuff, but my god. How has the fucking turdling thing not been touched yet? It's so, so silly. Um, and then, yeah, Book as well. Is it Book his name is? I can't remember what that fire is. I don't think it's Book. Whatever the fire guy one's called. He just, he has a few attacks that for me, I just, they're too quick for me to react to. And also, he's got kind of that, uh, do you know like the High Priestess from, um... 
from Gungeon, where there's like bullets that come off screen. Those little flies that it brings in are kind of that, where they kind of just come in from off screen at weird angles, and it can it can kind of surprise you, especially if you're near the edge of the um of the arena of the of the room that you're in. It can cause some issues, but eh, anyways. But yeah, Silk Song's still sort of top of my list at the moment for uh most anticipated games, which I know I'm probably still going to be waiting a while, but I think that's actually a great thing. The fact that they're really taking their time and not trying to just get a quick cash grab is actually incredible. They're probably just putting a lot of, a lot of time and polish into it, and th I actually think there's a, there's a decent chance that the content has been finished for a little while, and they are just really making it the most polished game they possibly can. Um... And looking at uh, how good, obviously, Hollow Knight was in that respect, it's it, it's exciting. It's exciting. Lil Gish is not a bad one to start with, because we do get some slowing shots. I don't mind that at all. We do have Flight as well, so we can grab this, and it's a pretty good one as well. Uh, secret room-wise, where do we think we're looking here? Probably not here, right? No. Probably here, then? We've got enough bomb to try it out. Oh, God, Spider. I didn't expect you there, my guy. Um, yeah, not bad. We've also got a D4 there, which I think I will carry in the off chance that I, um, that I would like to reroll this run, should my next item room or my boss item not be, not be to my liking. I think it's worth, uh, worth doing. I'll buy the sack, actually. Why not? Get a consumable gain going. I mean, up to eight bombs on the first floor is really nice for just, uh, being able to take out some more annoying bosses quickly, such as this lad. In fact, oh, really, bomb? I hate it when that happens. <laughs> There's a lot of things in this game that I'm really, really not fond of when they happen, but that's definitely one of them, where, like, your bomb just doesn't go the way you expect it to at all. Oh, your father and your brother are dead. What are you going to do? Ooh, stapler. I don't know if I'll be re-rolling at this point. <laughs> Staples are pretty hefty damage up. Nice. Don't feel as bad now. All right, we're trying this again, uh, especially for a damage up. Not as bad with this guy, especially with him Sloan. This attack is kind of weird for me. I feel like sometimes it's really easy to avoid, and other times it's not. Luckily, we got him before he spawned any friends. And Steven! Steven's a weird one. New Steven's nowhere near as hard, um, like, on average. But he does have some weird attacks that uh, I'm still not privy to. I still don't know how best to avoid. But luckily, with our damage pretty easy. And we're actually no, not really any worse off. We got the two damage ups that we got last time. Uh, just different different items, but still two damage ups. Uh, and we got possibly a better starting item in Little Gish. I wouldn't really know what's better between the two, to be honest. I think Double Trinkets is probably better, but either way. Um, we got Large Zit. Large Zit's pretty good for slowing. Works with uh, Gish and also gives us some extra damage shots as well on occasion. Small rock for even more damage. This is a very good run here. I'm actually dropping my glass D4 so that I don't accidentally use it. Take my hanged man. Don't really know why I'd take the hanged man. I don't need it. I'll just use it there. But damage wise, things are looking good for us right now. 9.7 damage this early on is uh, is pretty amazing. Well, one-shotting a lot of these early enemies. I, say, I think I spawned some extra enemies there for myself. Not ideal, but I'll take it. And then we got one dude here as well, lovely. Oh, nope, one more. Spectral makes these a hell of a lot easier, thank you. I like that. Strength is going to be good for the boss as well. Probably just use it straight away on this boss, this flaws boss. God damn. Gotta love it. Ooh, this guy uh, got a little close there. Yeah, large zit. I always forget that it gives you extra damage on the large zit shots. It's nice. We'll see what boss we got first. Okay, we don't actually need to use our strength card here. I'm just going to quickly itch my nose. Let's just try the poop before he got to it. That's nice. We don't want to go there. We want to go Angel Deal. Uh, I'd like to find my secret room if it's easy enough to find. I'm not exactly sure if it will be. I think it's here. Lovely stuff. Unfortunately, a room that we cannot take advantage of at all. Bit of a shame. Oh, actually, though, 
Speaking of taking advantage of, we can at least get into our cash room for free here. We should at least do that. See if we get some spicy items. Oh my god. The spiciest of items. Thank you. L Little Horn is a great item, but once we get perfection, it becomes an insanely good item. So, very happy to have that on board. Um, and I'm very, very glad that I took the time to actually look into that and try and go to th that room there. We also got a pretty decent shot uh, speed boost here. I think I only... Problem right now that, that I foresee is our lower speed. Of course, as well, not having a backup card is, is always always a risk. But the amount of damage we're outputting right now is uh, pretty high. Little horn shots are going to be coming out hot and fast. We got slowing going on like everywhere as well, which is really nice. Not bad, not bad. Our consumable gains are really good as well right now. I'm liking that. I like the fact that you get like extra knockback as well here. I have to make sure that mushroom didn't end up hitting me. I'll take this because there's a water bottle there. I will take one of these pills as well, regardless of the fact that it could be bad. Yeah, it's just a helper. Doesn't do anything for us, but there you go. But the water bottle is good for this floor at least. Oh my god, the insta-kill on those guys is, is very, very nice. N I know this can't be much good, but I'll still pop it anyways in case. Oh, I did forget the knockback freaks these guys out a lot. Check in here real quick. Hey, there's the spare holy card we're looking for. And then, honestly, I'm going to bomb for uh, a bit of money here. Not that we got a lot, unfortunately. We got enough to get this, which is what I wanted. And that spare holy card puts us in a, a much, much, much more advantageous position. Now, it doesn't secure us the win by any means. But it puts us in a position of power where we can, I wouldn't say take risks, but we, we're not as scared of every instance of damage that could befall us. We are prepared. Yeah, this arrow, I don't think it says anything about knockback, but it cl very clearly ups your knockback a lot, and I don't think it's just because of the shot speed. I think this is perfection floor as well, isn't it? Perfection plus little horn is going to be very nice. So I haven't, still haven't seen our item room here. That was close. Almost whiffed that there. We'll go straight for our boss. And again, we'll strength card if it feels necessary. Oh, we don't have a strength card right now. Don't use a strength card because that isn't a strength card. That would be a waste. This guy shouldn't be too bad. Try to bait out the shots. Good, good. Is that perfection? Yes, it is. Lovely. And we got our thingy as well. We need to kill the angel, remember? Puzzle piece. Ooh, this is tricky. Um, spawns are familiar that um, cause tears to be multiplied. Halves. Spawns a menorah familiar that causes Isaac's tears to be multiplied by the number of lit candles, halves tier delay, and then multiplies it by the sum plus one. I'm pretty sure the only way to light candles is to take damage though, right? So I think we want to take the axe. <laughs> the axe should be pretty good for us here. Lovely stuff. We got that. Let's go back and try and get item room. Yeah, I do think the menorah is a better item, but I'm pretty sure the only way to light candles is to get hit, which is actually a bit strange that the um, the description of the item doesn't say that. Unless that's not the case anymore, but that, that is how it used to work. Um, and I'd imagine it's a fearful recreation. So it should probably say in the item description that that's exactly how that works. But yes, I'm very, very happy that we've now got perfection in the mix here. An item room is going to give us... Ooh, actually, pretty good. I think I will take Crack the Sky. Crack the Sky is a decent way to get instant boss kills in a lot of scenarios. It is random, so it's not always going to work. 
but on a lot of the bosses, especially any that are larger in size, it can literally insta-kill them. Mum's heart is a, is a particularly good example. Mum's foot's a little more iffy, but um, I've seen it, I've seen it insta-kill quite a few times. It is, it is pretty spicy. Anyways, let's keep it going. We've got one of our key pieces already. We've got, we, we're, we're really set up at the moment. Um, we've got one key piece, good active, a spare holy card, good damage. An item that's affected by luck with perfection, which is the dream. I think the only thing that we could get now that would really increase this run's validity is um, one of the fires, the um, the ghost pepper or the uh, the, the uh, bird's eye chili. Either one of those two would obviously up our survivability by a ton just because of how powerful they are at destroying shots. Don't accidentally use our holy card here. Seed bag's pretty good, I think. Pull root, whatever it's called. See if this is worth it. Consolation prize, it would be speed. I, I actually do think speed is worthwhile. This is obviously a little risky with it being a boss, but... Crack the Sky gives us one boss insta-killed. Unfortunately, the second boss is actually a boss that I'm really not very good at. Mainly because of shit like this. It's this attack that I'm really bad at. I always forget when I've got to stop moving and when I can carry on moving. Anyways, I think we got him. Nice, up on this. Yeah, I gotta say, it's not a lot, but honestly, getting back up to 1.0 speed alleviates some of my worry from earlier, so I think it is worth it. Although, definitely not the best payout you can get from Consolation Prize, I'd say. Lovely. Luck foot is pretty good. Give you a hug. Not that it'll help anything. I think I just have to because it's you. Oh man, yeah. I'm loving all these insta-kills here. Even though that damage is very high, it's still nice to see enemies being insta-killed. Okay, remember these guys teleport around. Just be ready for that. Only thing I do, I am worried about is I'm pretty sure some of the pull routes can be like fire mined and stuff. That could be dangerous. Oh man, yes. So good. Second angel deal is here already. Extra shot speed on top of what we already had as well. This is tricky because obviously purity is good, but whatever aura it gives us, we are stuck with. I think we take it just in the hopes that it gives us fire rate or damage. It gave us damage, nice. Lovely, because, yeah, literally whatever aura it gave us, we are stuck with that aura. So we were... Fire rate is definitely the best one in my opinion, but damage is a close second, obviously. I wouldn't have minded speed, but I'd have been very disappointed if it was range. I mean, our range is actually pretty low right now, but I just don't care. <laughs> Hey, you got a second puzzle piece. Lovely. Puzzle piece. A pet will help. We got a token back there. Here was. Um, I guess just in case I should um token my holy card just so I have a second one lying around on this floor. It's not like super valuable considering I can't carry both, but. I think it's the only thing that makes sense, really. Ball of tar. Dude, we're getting a lot of slowing shot stuff going on here, which I quite like. Also, um, we have a high chance of firing slowing shots because of our luck. Pairs well with a little gish and uh, a zit shot. But yeah, having, having an extra holy card just around is really nice. In fact, I'm going to drop this one here. Um, and go and get the other one. Just so I don't forget where it is sort of thing. I know it's in the starting room. And you can see it's an icon on the minimap. Um, and yeah, that's that's just kind of there. Unfortunately, like I said, we don't have a way to pass that down to the next floor should we uh, not end up using one of them. 
which is a shame, but it's better to have it than to not, and I think a token is, like, one of the most valuable things for that. In fact, like, getting a secret room with token bag in it as this character would be insanely, like, insanely useful. To just have, like, once every, is it eight rooms or twelve rooms, getting a holy card, that'd be, like, genuinely super valuable. Wasn't so bad. We have plenty of money to work with right now. I've not really been doing anything with it. I've not been visiting shops and stuff. Real realistically, while we've already got a holy card in our pocket, I've just not been going to any extra rooms that I don't have to. Because why would I? Essentially, what would be the what would be the point? That is a spike chest. Come on. A lot of haunted chests about. I'll quickly check in here in case it's worthwhile, but I can't imagine it will be. Uh, maybe. Although, I actually... Nah, I'll do it anyways. I'll do it anyways. Just because I've got mums there, what's it called? The chests are just so much more valuable. Boxy boy. I say the actual thing does turn off on occasion as well. The jumpy boys are, are always a problem. We got through it. Lovely. Snow globe, although a half decent item, I don't think it's going to replace our current active at all. Keep it moving. I haven't seen anything really this floor yet uh, for our item rooms or shops or anything, so we'll keep looking. I'm liking as well the fact that the insta-kills, when whenever we get them with uh, Little Horn, are um, stopping enemies from doing their on-death phases and stuff. It's actually saving us from some, uh, some various attacks that they can do. I'm loving having our damage aura going right now as well. Where art thou shop and such? Unfortunately, it doesn't do anything for us. If I had the mod on, that, that would give us a holy air card charge. As would laying in a bed, but I don't have that right now. Another haunted chest, damn. That one gave us spawn three soul stones. Okay, let's just see what we get. Unfortunately, nothing really of value there. Unless we get a sack room this fall. We actually do have a sack room. Right. Just get rid of all these fires real quick. Get six players on this. Which is enough for that. Spirit of Acceptance, I'll take it. That could give us some bad items on occasion, but I'm, I'm hoping it won't. Spirit of Acceptance, basically, every time we pick up an item, there was a 50% chance we gain a, an extra blind item. Which obviously is potentially rife with problems, because blind items can ruin your runs. But I think overall, it's not bad. <laughs> overall, I, I'd rather have it, to be honest. It's just, it's fun, isn't it? Right. God damn, we've got so much consumables and stuff right now. Yera there as well. Again, I guess I just, like, Yera this, just so we've got even more. But, doesn't really do anything for us. Unfortunately, we can't stack them. It'd be amazing if we could. Right. We get ourselves... Oh, wait. All items are blind. Also, dude. <laughs> Milkshake is an insane item. I did not know that was in the boss pool. That's kind of insane that it is. Or maybe it's not. Maybe... Because I got, I got ghost bombs from the angel room pools, so and maybe, maybe Spirit of Acceptance also mixes the pools, which could be very dangerous. Could be very, very dangerous. 
Basically, okay, I got it wrong. It items are blind, and there's a chance to get a second one. So all items are now a bit of a risk. But I'm going to take said risk most of the time. Basically, I'm later on, I might stop taking the risk. Do you know what? This room seems annoying. Later on, I might stop taking the risk once, like, we get down to the womb and stuff because I'll have settled then sort of thing. That's contraband, isn't it? Yeah. Unfortunately, it's the item contraband, which I don't want. Again, with the water bottles. Um... Bye bye. Yeah, like basically once I'm settled in my run, maybe I don't want to take risks anymore. Oh, one moment. Man, I'm always getting scam calls or whatever that was. Extra range is nice. Uh, but yeah, our stats, that milkshake is an insane all stats multiplier. So we are very good on the uh, on the stats front right now. Uh, but yeah, like I might stop taking items sort of after this floor. Just because at that point, I think I'm basically set to be able to do ev everything that's available to us sort of thing. I don't need any extra items. I mean, it's a low risk to take items as well. It's not even like a super high risk. So I'm, it's maybe a bit hasty to say that I'll say it, stop taking items completely. But at the same time, this is a very, very, very good run where, where I have a spare holy card. It's like, do I really want to take the risk of throwing that away potentially? What got going on in here? See, like, this is a risk, but the speed is very nice here. Blood clot, yeah. Both, so both of those were boss items. Maybe Milkshake is in the boss pool. Unfortunately, this is a very, very annoying boss to grab here. He's not particularly dangerous, I don't think. It's just annoying because he's phased rather than uh, being able to kill everything at once. Really annoys me that there's one last phase where you have to kill one of the worms. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so that that was definitely boss item pools, unless I just got lucky. I don't really know. I, I should have read Spirit of Acceptance more, but if anyone knows if Milkshake is actually in the boss pool, let me know. If it is, it should be very, very low-weighted, or maybe just shouldn't be in there at all, because it's in insanely strong to get from a boss room. Like, crazy strong. Oh, God. These dudes creep me out. Not that I need the soul hearts at all. I love the fact that I'm able to destroy these guys. Right, boss time. Man, it's just too good. It's just too good. We're going dark path, remember? Yes, dark path. We've done boss rush on that lot, so we can just go straight down here. Okay, yeah. I might, I might stop taking items now, just in case. Sorry, contraband man. Sadly, we don't have any uh, any way of knowing where the boss is here, so we're, we're taking it blind. See, now that is just tempting, but but why would I? But why would I? Got plenty of keys to work with. Really, we don't have to worry about anything on the floor at this point. Well, these will definitely be books. I can take these two at least. Third one I'm not taking at this point. Unfortunately, we've gone the wrong way. Really hope the womb doesn't screw us over too hard here. I'm loving the fact that we've got, like, slowing going, like, all the, all the damn time on lots of enemies here. Hoping for a holy card there just in case, but sadly, no. These dudes are problematic. Because the spiders are always going to die in one hit, the little ones, but there's just so many of them. So easy to accidentally get caught up in them. Just got to make sure I don't accidentally walk into a spike chest or something stupid. Got, if, I, if I take damage, I just I want it to be at least justified damage and not me just being a fucking idiot. Love that. 
Man, every which wrong way I can fucking go, game. Hanged man, not the world, god damn it. Even though we're pretty much already here at this point. We don't need the world anymore. Cool. Man, holy light. Not holy light, whatever it's called, you know what I mean. Okay, I will take the boss and angel deal here because I know that they're going to be angel deal items. That's, that's actually uh, that's actually kind of dangerous, slightly. Um, it's good, but we could end up getting some of the bomb flies that could screw us over. Typically, they don't deal damage to you anymore. Unfortunately, we don't have mapping here, which I hate. Like, typically, it's just rare they deal damage to you anymore, but they can, so it's like, hmm. I'm a bit scared. And yeah, I, I just despise not having mapping in any scenario, never mind this scenario. Second item spawn. They're, they're, again, both boss items, but a boss on this floor could be pretty bad, so let's just keep trying to find the boss. Good. Rotten Padlock. I swear it already unlocked with Rotten Padlock, but maybe that was on a different save file. Hey, we found the boss. Unfortunately, no insta-kill, but we got it before the last phase activated, so I'm happy about that. Again, I must check we are doing Dark Path. Yes, we are. Good. Pretty good. Then we're doing the Lamb and Mega Sane. Unfortunately, I think it was the foot that killed us last time, so I've got to be very careful about that. I didn't even know what shot us there. I, I genuinely don't know where any of the enemies are here, so... Get over the pit. Okay, they all died. Good. They all died. Good, good, good. Bunch of brimstoners. Really? Can you destroy the dark turd, please? Why isn't it destroying? I want to be able to see. I'm going to end up running into the mini-boss, aren't I? Fortunately, we went a wrong way here. Don't know why we've got a mini-map segment visible there. That was close. Very nearly got hit by that. You'll listen. Something, at least. Right. Saving my light for the second phase, because the second phase is where I normally get hit. Good, good, we got him. We are through that phase at least. Oh my god, this has been a stressful one, this has. We don't know what we're grabbing out of any of these. These could be terrible. Eye Isle. Pinhead, okay, both very, very, very good. Don't actually know what's going on with this boss fight. With the ghosties and stuff. Is it is it over? Thank you. We got a holy card on this floor. Good to know. We got a holy card that's easy to get to as well. Right. Quickly grab it and just place it 
Again, let's go place it in the starting room. Then it's just there. We know it's there sort of thing. And we come and grab our other holy card. Wait, 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 wait. Hold, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Where the hell's our second holy card gone? Um, did I lose it at some point? Did I lose the other holy card at some point? Where is it? It was in this room, right? Very confused. Where the hell did it go? I'm just quickly doing that. It literally is gone. I, I, I'm not going to spoil myself another one in because I, I, I might have just dropped it and I don't want to sort of cheese it. But I, I genuinely think that shouldn't be gone. Can you, like, stop? Thank you. Unfortunately, I thought we were going the right way then. Sadly not. Oh my god, this is stressful. Well, there's a second holy card anyways, so... That's made our life better. <laughs> We've at least still got a second one hanging around somewhere. Good, good. Damn it, we keep going the wrong goddamn way. Keep going the wrong goddamn way. Careful of the spiders. I'm killing stuff so fast at this point, it's amazing. for him to do his thing. Is that it? Everything in the room? Yep. Good. My god, it's so annoying. Every fucking room's the wrong goddamn way. Insta-killing those guys is very nice. There's so many items available, but at this point, I just can't take them. It's just like... Anything could ruin our run. Unfortunately, our holy light there was not very advantageous. Good, good. We got that sorted. That's another completion mark done. Right, now we've got one holy card for the Mega Satan fight. Unfortunately, we have no way of carrying an additional, which is a real shame because we have an additional on the floor. It'd be lovely to carry that in with us, but it's the best we're going to get. We just have to play to the best of our abilities here. This fight can go awry very quickly, especially in the second phase, so... Pinhead's actually going to be super, super valuable here. So it allows us to deal damage to, like, everything at once. Especially the hands and him. Being able to attack the hands and him all at the same time is very, very nice. Bombs, careful. I kind of picked the wrong enemies to fight first here, but they're all pinned up, so shouldn't be too bad. He's still taking damage through his boss armor while we're killing stuff, by the way. If we pin him up, you see how he's like got on zero HP now? There you go, that was great. We're able to pin him through his uh, boss armor and, and hurt him. Okay, this is the really shit bit. 
because unfortunately, there's just not many ways to avoid some of these attacks. Like, even this is, uh, I, like, li literally bullshit. Literally nothing I can do to avoid damage there, because he's slow. If he does that attack again, I'm unfortunately dead. Well, not dead, but I'm going to get hit again. I'm trying to use bombs where I can here, if plausible. I don't want to damage myself with them, so I'm being pretty, uh, pretty cautious about my usage of them. But I'm, I'm using them because, obviously, we, they spawn ghosts. Even if they don't hit him, the ghosts did good damage. Unfortunately, we don't have anything to pinhead him to. Unfortunately, I got hit there. I don't even know what by. If I die here, I'm going to be so upset. Which is going to happen, because look at what the fuck's going on right now. How the fuck am I meant to avoid this bullshit? Okay, we got him. Oh my god. <laughs> That's probably my best played run of this guy in a long time. But there you go. Two more marks cleared off this guy. I hope you guys did enjoy that, and I'll see you guys in the next one.